The American Council of Education is now officially recommending that the Google IT Support Certificate equals a 12 college credit. And this means that companies are starting to see the value of these certificates even more. They're not just like some kind of side thing, they're actually becoming a game changer for people looking to switch careers or level up their current one. And the most insane thing is that you can get them for free. Compare that to the cost of college credit at a university, which is averaging around 309 bucks per credit, or $3,708 for the same amount of credits as this free certificate. So, in this video, I'm going to show you, and I'm gonna go through some of the most popular IT support certificates. I'm gonna show you which one is the best for people looking to get a good job in the industry fast, and um, essentially which one is gonna help you out the most. And they're both good, but these there are some really important things you should know before you get started, if you even think about making this decision. So if you don't do this, you're at risk of losing a lot of your time and money and just energy in general. So it's super important that you know this before you get started. So my, just really quick, my name is Lucas and I run this channel helping you level up your career right now without having to just rely on you know experience or degree. So just before we get into this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and how to level up your career because that's what I provide you with weekly on this channel completely for free. I would really appreciate it, and um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you, let's let's actually get into the video. All right, hey then, welcome. So, first of all, I'm just gonna go over the Coursera IT Support Professional Certificate, then we're gonna head over to the IBM one. I'm just gonna give you some, some really quick info about each of them, and then we're gonna talk about the similarities, some differences, and some other tools and things you need to know, and I'm also gonna give you a final conclusion at the end, which one is the best. So, that's pretty much it. The first one is, of course, as you can see, the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. And um, all the information is available. I'll leave this in the description um, if you want to read more about this in your own time. But I'll show you the most important things. So what it is is basically a bundle of a couple of different courses that they put together. Um, it's available in multiple different languages. A lot of people have taken it, but as you can see, not that many people uh, percentage-wise have actually completed it. So that's why it's super important that you know all of this stuff before you start. And, um, you know, it's for beginners. It's uh, You're actually able to get college credit for it, like I said, um, to some extent. And let's see. As you can see, these are the different courses. We have the technical support fundamentals. We have the bits and bytes of computer networking. Uh, we have the operating systems and you becoming a power user system administration and IT infrastructure services and IT security. So to sort of sum this up, what it is is basically taking you all the way through, giving you a introductory level of knowledge or slash like intermediate um, of all these areas. And then you're of course able to specialize if you wish. Um, if you're gonna become a like IT support, then this is generally gonna be enough um, unless you're gonna be some very specific role, then you might have to specialize. For example, if you're some security support or like some, some special uh, systems administration person, you might need to specialize, but it gives you a general introduction to all of the different areas, which I think is really cool. Let's head into the IBM one. So the IBM one, as you can see, as you can see, it has the exact same info uh, as the Google one right here. Um, and it's two months under 10 hours of study a week. This one is six months. As you can see, it's much, much shorter, according to them at least. And um, that, that's because uh, a couple of di couple of different reasons. Um, I'm not exactly sure because I, I haven't taken the entire certificate myself. I've taken the first one uh, of Google and I've also gone through a bit of, the, of, of this stuff. Um, but I've actually taken this entire one, so I'll, I'll show you why I think so. Basically what I think is because essentially what they do um, in Google, Google, you usually have a little bit more material versus I feel like IBM is more straight to the point. Um, the experience might not necessarily be as good due to that, but it can also be a bit shorter. So it, it depends on what you're going for. And, I, and I'll get to all of this in a second. So as you can see, the same pricing, um, it can also be free if you get the financial aid. And uh, Google is estimate to take around double the time, as you can see, or even three times as much. So it is a bit more... Um, a bit more stuff in the Google one, definitely. Um, that doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. It just means that they have more material for you to go through in the course. Um, but of course, you can also learn more effectively. So perhaps IBM is better at doing that. You should definitely um, try and see. But, so again, um, they're completely completely flexible. 
you can take them whenever you want and um, that's definitely an advantage of both of these courses now i do want to get to some differences though as well so um when, when it comes to differences um my touchpad doesn't work right now so i'm just gonna use it i'm just gonna draw like this i'm just gonna say like differences and you might have to hear all the clicking i'll get the touchpad back for the next video so essentially the main difference is i would say that google's google's courses are nicer to use for the general population um i've tried them to be honest and that's definitely a benefit of google i think that their sort of layout is a bit more um, comprehensive like I said, that's also why they're a bit longer. But in general, I think that the quality is a bit better. It just looks more nice. They have, um, you know, more professional video presentations and everything. And I'm not saying that that's going to necessarily teach you better, but it's going to be a more pleasant experience, in my opinion. The IBM one, uh, from, from what I looked, is more basic, like simple slide presentations, some random voiceover that just shifts. And that could be really good. I'm, I'm, like I'm saying, IBM One is apparently shorter, so that is definitely a an advantage of it. But also, I think the experience Google is actually gonna win when it comes to experience um, in this in this one. Now, if we're looking at the other things, we have also like the tools that you use, and the tools are really important when you're completing something like an IT one because you learn certain tools. Now, Google. Is of course basically using Google tools primarily. Um, of course, they use other tools, but essentially all the tools that they can include that are their own, they're actually going to do it. IBM is going to do the same. Um, whenever there's something that they own, they're going to essentially try to make you use it. And that's not super weird considering how they wouldn't promote a tool from a competitor or something, but also, yeah. It's just how it is. So if you prefer IBM tools, you should go with IBM. If you prefer to learn Google tools, Google is offering them in their certificate. Um, and again, I just think that it's a bit easier to navigate the Google one, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. So if I'll give you a conclusion about this, I'll say that both are really good. Google is a bit more user friendly. IBM is shorter, but doesn't necessarily mean that you, like, that you learn less. You could just be more precise with uh, technical knowledge. So you have to decide for yourself and uh, I'm super glad to have you watch this video. I'll leave these links in the description.